Hello everyone, I thought I would uh, show you a little DIY project I decided to undertake. I put out a call for uh, templates for J cards, didn't really get a response um, from the various forums. I um, asked if anybody had one, so I decided to devise my own. So here's the final result. Um, I should first show you how I, decided, I came about to do all of this. And the fact is, I had uh, recently purchased a uh, box of uh, cassettes that were used, um, not not highly used. They were recorded on once, and uh, they're all in really, really good shape. Most of them are TDK SA90s. You can tell they're from various years just by the difference, difference in the labels. Uh, so the fellow had been collecting them for quite a few years, I, I gather. And uh, so what I've done is I've decided to emulate the J cards because obviously if you look at them, they're all written on in handwriting and they, uh, they don't look any good anymore. Uh, some of them, they, he did them on double sides or on both sides. I think he botched some of the uh, his printing on, on uh, one side and used the other side of the J card. And plus, I don't want to flip it and have somebody's hand else's handwriting in in my tapes or whatever. So, what I'm doing is I'm re-recording them. And uh, so far, I've recorded about three or four tapes, uh, four now actually tapes, and no dropouts. They're all really clean. I've been recording them on my Nakamichi RX505. I have an LX3 and a CR3A uh, up, uh, upstairs as well, and a 700. So. A uh, fair bit of tape playing goes on in the household, and I also have a uh, the start of a good collection here. So I bought this new uh, uh, cassette rack, which I'm attempting to fill. I've got a bunch of CDs on the bottom there. And uh, also I have, these will be going into that rock, rack as well. And uh, those I got for five bucks at a garage sale. And uh, then of course I've got a bunch of new old stock uh, Maxell and TDK and Sony tapes, all chrome and metal in some case, some cases. So before I dig into the uh, new old stock stuff, I would thought I would use all of these up first and uh, try to make them all look nice in my collection. So I was looking for a J card online and was unable to find one that really uh, suited what uh, what I wanted to do. So what I did was I devised one out of Microsoft Publisher. I could have just as easily have used Word. I just find this better for, for graphics and whatnot. Because what I wanted to do was take the old, um, the old J card, which you see here, and all written on. In some cases, they don't have double sides, as you can see there. So I, you know, I'm pretty well hooped. And he used, in this case, this was pencil, but... Uh, um, most of them were done in pens, so you can't even erase them. So I figured, well, I'll make my own once, and this is the first attempt at doing that. So what I did was I ran this uh, graphic on my scanner over here, imported it as a JPEG into, into Publisher, and then I used the measurements of the, uh, the J card and uh, made the template that you see here which I am ha quite happy to share with anybody. It was actually one a, a template I'd found online, but it didn't work for me, so I've actually changed it quite a bit. And uh, it also has this overflow side, so if you have a lot of material, you can actually go to the double side. I normally cut it off here, uh, but if, for instance, I didn't have enough room to write all the printing and it was like one little one-minute segments or something like that, you could actually fold it back over and have uh, have some of the, uh, the uh, song titles or the titles roll over onto the back side. So yeah, turned out really nice. And then of course, when I get to the different types of tapes, so if I use these uh, sort of purplish ones, SA90s, what I'll do is I'll scan that graphic. Same with the uh, the gold one, same with the uh, black and green that you see there. So there's all different types, and I just want to make sure that the uh, the tape matches the uh, the J card uh, graphic that uh, it goes into. So um, 
yeah, I'm very happy with the uh, the outcome, and I think this will be a, a fine addition to, to my collection. So thank you for watching.